Hello team, welcome back to V Project UK. Now we're in the middle of autumn and winter just around the corner, what better time than to showcase a glass coating? A glass coating not only makes your visibility much clearer, but it also makes driving much safer in the winter. And what we're gonna be showcasing today is one of our go-to glass coatings. And it is the new 2020 CarPro Flyby Forte kit. So, let's start the video. What a good glass coating will do is make your windscreen much easier to clean. Bug splatter, snow, rain and ice and sometimes oil and traffic film is much easier to clean off your windscreen. And on top of that, sometimes at speeds over 30 or 40 miles an hour, sometimes even as low as 20 miles an hour, you don't need to use your windscreen wipers because the rain will literally just sheet off your windscreen and it's absolutely fantastic when you see that in operation in real life. Now, it also means that you don't need to use your windscreen wipers as much. And when we first started detailing, we didn't see the advantage of that. Why would you not want to use your windscreen wipers? But what a good glass coating will also do is give you much better abrasion resistance on your actual windscreen itself. And on your windscreen wipers, you can get an accumulation of dirt and grit and sand. And as you're using your wipers, this causes scratches on your windscreen. So by not using your windscreen wipers, and we're not advocating not using them, but sometimes windscreen wipers can cause scratches and by the water just sheeting off of your windscreen sometimes negates the need to use your windscreen wipers. So that's the main advantages. One of the main disadvantages with some glass coatings is that they just don't last very long. You'll see you spend a lot of time cleaning your windscreen and installing them and they just don't last a very long time at all. One of the reasons we love using CarPro Flyby Forte is that it does last up to a year, sometimes even longer with the proper maintenance, and it also doesn't give you windscreen wiper judder. A lot of windscreen coatings, when you use your wipers, will judder and squeak. However, one of the reasons we love CarPro Flyby Forte is that it doesn't give you windscreen juddering, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, just a detailer's top tip. You may see a lot of videos on YouTube about installation of this product. However, in 2019, CarPro released the 2020 version of the CarPro Flyby Forte kit, and the application of this product is very different. What you'll find with the old kit, and some of the older videos on YouTube you may watch, is that you have to apply three coatings and you do not wipe it off. The 2020, and I think this was actually released in 2019, the installation of this kit is very different. So you need to know when you order this kit, which one you've got i.e. have you got the pre-2019, pre-2020 version or do you have the older version because the installation will be very different. As you'll see from the box on this product, this new kit is much stronger and it bonds to the glass surface much stronger as well. So previously where you had to apply three coatings and not wipe off, now you just apply one or two coats and it needs wiping. If you polish the glass, as it says here, then you only need to use one coating now However, some people don't want to do glass polishing, and if you don't want to, then basically you need to apply two layers with 30 minutes in between each layer. However, in today's video, we're going to go for the professional application, so we will do glass polishing, and we'll show you the application doing it using that method. So, just be careful. Some uh, retailers will send you the previous kit because they may have surplus stock. However, if you've got a good seller, then they should send you the new kit and the installation of that is very different. So just make sure you know which kit you have. So it's also possible just to buy the CarPro Flyby Forte in itself, but this is the actual kit. And inside the kit, you'll get a number of items. What you will get is some suede removal cloths and you'll get two of these. You'll get some Seri Glass glass polish. You will get some CarPro Eraser IPA wipe down solution. You will get several application pads for the actual coating itself. You will get a glass rayon polishing block 
for the actual polishing your glass using the seri glass and the glass rayon pads actually have a much stiffer thicker substrate on them for actual polishing glass because glass is much harder than your paint surface so you actually need a dedicated rayon pad and we'll talk about that shortly as well but you get a block for hand polishing you will also get the actual coating itself and this is 15 mil which is more than enough to do one vehicle or sometimes even more you'll get some stickers for when you're finished you'll get the instruction manual which gives you the instructions on how to apply the coating however just a word of warning the actual instructions you get are still for the old coating so you don't necessarily need to follow these instructions if you've got the 2020 kit but just follow the instructions on the box but we'll go through the installation very shortly and you also get an installation card telling you how to install the new product which is same as is on the side of the box namely that you now just need one or two coats you have the option not to polish and now you need to wipe the solution away similar to a ceramic coating for your paint and there's actually an extra sticker in there as well so that's the contents of the box and we'll just go through some of the items now so as mentioned although you have the option not to polish your glass and use the car pro flyby forte on your glass windscreen and your windows on your vehicle we would highly recommend you do polish your glass as with most coatings the success and the longevity and the performance is all based on how clean you can actually get the surface these are applied to so although you have the option not to polish we would highly recommend you do even if you don't go through a machine polishing stage just by polishing the glass by hand using the seri glass will make a big difference because the seri glass will actually remove water spotting any etched things that you have on your windscreen which just wiping alone won't remove and it will give you much bigger, better longevity and adhesion of flyby forte to your windscreen so we would highly recommend you actually go through the polishing stage now just a word of warning with seri glass this is a product we use on numerous occasions because unlike a lot of glass polishing compounds out there seri glass is actually capable of removing light to medium scratches and imperfections off your glass surface it contains a product called cerium oxide which is basically a natural metal which occurs in a powder form and that's the abrasive material inside seri glass however seri glass is capable of removing any layers you might have on your glass so if you've got any protective layers we would not recommend using seri glass because that will actually remove it and sometimes that can actually remove the protection on your glass so you need to make sure what type of glass you have does it have some form of protective film on it if it does don't use seri glass use another lighter glass polishing compound something like Meguiar's glass polishing compound something similar which is not cerium oxide based because this can be quite aggressive also a top tip for you when it comes to wiping this product away it can be quite difficult so always make sure you've got some water at hand and once you spray some water and wipe it away it will come away very easily however you'll see this in a demonstration which we're going to do very shortly so the first step is to clean your glass as best as possible and for this reason we're going to use angel wax and vision if your glass is really dirty then obviously you need to wash it properly but as you can see ours is not that bad and angel wax vision seems to be a little bit stronger than other glass cleaners in that it will strip most things so for our purposes this is absolutely perfect what you want to do at this stage is just make sure you get the glass as clean as possible making sure you get into each of all the corners and just get it as best prepared as you possibly can Once you finish cleaning the glass, don't forget to spray some glass cleaner onto the cloth and just clean your windscreen wipers as well because we want to try and get these as clean as possible because we're going to put some coating on these as well which actually helps the windscreen wiper action once the windscreen is actually coated. So make sure you give them a really good clean.
and you'll see as you wipe your wiper blades just how much dirt comes off them because they just get ingrained with so much dirt so it's worth cleaning as best as possible. So once your glass is clean, what you want to do is make sure you mask off all the rubber trim or any plastic trim you might have because Seri glass and also Flyby Forte will actually stain your plastic or rubber trim. So you want to take your time here and just make sure that everything is masked off and protected so that it doesn't get stained in the process. So anytime you're doing a coating on your vehicle, whether it be your paintwork or your glass, the name of the game, as mentioned before, is to get everything as clean as possible. So what we're going to do now is using Multi-X as a lubrication. We diluted this down at 1 to 10, which is still quite strong for Multi-X. We're going to use a blade. Now what we're going to do is use a bit of common sense here. Avoid going near your trim, your rubber trim or plastic parts or anything that this might damage. And what you want to try and do is get a blade that's not too sharp. And what you want to do is make sure you don't go direct downwards in a downwards angle, but you want to try and angle the blade so you're skimming the surface. And the idea is that you're going to exfoliate the surface of the windscreen to make sure that any bonded contamination is taken off using physical means. Basically what that means is that you're not using chemicals, you're actually using the blade to try and take everything off the surface of your glass. Now, the name of the game here is common sense. Make sure you take your time. Don't slip and cut yourself. So just really take your time and make sure you do this properly. Don't go in a downwards angle, but just have a really smooth sideways action and just skim the surface of the glass. For this, do not use a glass cleaner because basically glass cleaners will flash quite quickly and you're not gonna get much lubrication. But for this purpose, Multi-X is perfect because not only is it providing the lubrication, but it's also cleaning at the same time as well. So we're killing two birds with one stone. So you don't need to apply too much pressure, just make sure you cover the windscreen and make sure that you've taken off anything that you can feel under the blade using a really smooth action. And as CarPro Multi-X is a all-purpose cleaner, you can now just wipe it away, making sure you take off as much of the all-purpose cleaner as possible. Again, don't let any all-purpose cleaner sit on your trim or plastic parts because it can stain as it is quite strong, so just make sure you clean everything away as best as you can. And then follow the same steps for the other side of the windscreen, making sure you take your time. Again, be very careful around rubber trim and plastic parts and clean it as best as you can. Now glass is actually porous, which means it actually has pores in the glass. So with the blade, we've actually exfoliated the surface, but what we want to try and do now is pull out as much of the contamination from the pores as possible. So for that, we're going to use built hamber clay because you can use water as a lubricant. So that's one of the reasons it's one of our go-to clays. And what we're going to do now is just try and grab as much of that contamination as possible. So again, liberally spray some distilled water. Make sure you use distilled water, not normal tap water. And then just clay bar the actual windscreen, pulling out as much as you can. Another reason why this step is so vital is that CarPro Flyby Forte actually bonds with the glass by actually penetrating the pores in the glass. And that's one of the reasons that it lasts so long because it actually moulds into the glass itself by penetrating the pores. 
So you want to try and clear the pores as best as possible because the cleaner you can get the pores in the glass, the longer CarPro Flyby Forte will last. So I'm hoping you can see that the clay has actually changed a slightly different colour where it's pulled all the dirt out from the pores in the glass and bear in mind we went over the glass with the blade so you can see just how much more dirt was actually embedded inside the glass. So once you've done one side of the windscreen just follow the same process on the other side cleaning it as best as possible and make sure you cover as much of the glass as you can. So now we've used all these chemicals, used the blade and also the clay bar, we're going to go over the windscreen one more time with Angel Wax Vision just to make sure that we clean away as much as we possibly can. Again, name of the game guys is just to get the windscreen as clean as possible and keep it as clean for as long as you can. So now we're at the polishing stage and we've actually got a bigger bottle of Seri glass that we've had and used for some time so we're just going to use this product. And what you'll also need is a glass rayon pad. This is one from CarPro and as you can see they are super thin and what that means is that all the energy and force from the machine polisher actually gets translated to the pad itself. It doesn't have much flex and it's actually quite rigid. And what we find, most windscreens are curved. And we'll find that the surface contact area is therefore quite small. So what we like to do is use a interface pad. This is a five inch interface pad which gives you that little bit more cushioning and a little bit more play. Which means that the glass rayon pad actually forms to the windscreen a lot better. And you actually get more of the rayon pad in contact with the windscreen doing all of the exfoliating for you. So a top tip for you get yourself an interface pad and you'll find the experience of using the rayon pad much better because as I say it will then just adapt to the form of the windscreen much better because it is curved. As usual if you've seen our previous videos we're going to stick to the DAS6 Pro Plus just to show that detailing doesn't have to be expensive and you can see just how much forgiveness that pad gives you. So once you've added some seri glass to the rayon pad, uh, just spread it on the windscreen. We're going to spread it on number one. And once we actually go into the polishing, we're going to go to speed three. So as your glass is a lot harder than your vehicle's paint were, you can actually apply some moderate pressure. And moderate pressure will actually allow the actual rayon pad to form to the glass a bit better as well. So don't be scared to apply a bit of pressure here and just make sure you've got a smooth, even motion like you would on your vehicle paintwork and polish away as much of the imperfections as possible. As mentioned at the start of the video, Seri glass is actually capable of removing light and medium scratches from your vehicle glass. So it's actually worth paying attention here and just covering the area as best as possible with a smooth motion. Apply some pressure and just keep an eye on the glass temperatures. The time we're filming this video is actually quite cool and the glass wasn't getting very warm but you'll see periodically we're actually testing the glass to see if it's increasing in temperature. One thing that causes glass to warp when you're actually polishing it is actually temperature more than anything else so just keep an eye on the glass temperature.
Just like you would do when you're polishing your vehicle's paintwork, three overlapping passes with 50% overlap, making sure you cover half of the windscreen. Seri glass can be quite hard to wipe off when it's dry, so just apply some more distilled water and it will make removing so much easier and it wipes off quite easily. Now before you start polishing the other side, just make sure that any debris or sling is actually wiped away to make sure that you're not causing any imperfections. Then follow the same process as you've done on the first side. Just make sure you cover the entire other half of the windscreen, three overlapping passes. And at the end of this set, I actually done a little bit of dueling just to see if it made a difference. Once again, the product was spread on speed one and then polished on speed three. Once you finish machine polishing, spray some distilled water again just to make removal of seri glass much easier. So as glass is a lot harder than your vehicle paintwork, you can actually machine polish it numerous times. So off camera, I actually machine polished the glass a further two times, totaling three times in total, just to remove as much of the scratches as possible. And it was actually quite successful. It wouldn't have showed up on camera, so I didn't bring the camera in too close to show you because it just wouldn't have shown up, but it did uh, have really good results. So what we're gonna do now we finish, we're gonna use Angel Wax Vision one more time, just to clean the glass as best as possible of any of the remaining seri glass polish and we're trying to remove all of the actual cerium oxide itself all the metal powder just to make sure there's nothing left on the windscreen give it a really good clean cleaning it as best as possible and also we're going to give the windscreen wipers a clean one more time using the glass cleaner just to try and clean it as best as possible So now what we want to do is give the glass the best clean as possible using the eraser which is the degreaser IPA cleaner from the CarPro kit. You want to try and clean off all the polishing oils that might be left behind by seri glass. And as you can see we're not going to use a microfiber towel anymore but we're going to use a waffle towel because that will actually clean a lot better and make sure there's no linting from the microfiber towel. Now when it comes to the actual eraser IPA spray don't skimp on it, use loads, have a really good coverage and just make sure that you clean the windscreen as best as possible. 
because this is now going to be the final clean before we go in with the actual glass coating itself. So clean is the name of the game here. So now the glass is so clean that it actually became really grabby because there's actually no protection or lubrication at all on it because we've stripped literally everything. So I was actually really struggling to hold the towel flat because it was grabbing so much. But that's a good sign because it shows that it's so clean, there's literally no oils or anything on there providing lubrication. And to make sure that we've cleaned the windscreen wipers as best as possible as well, we've actually used the eraser on there just to make sure we clean any remaining oils that might be on there. And just to make sure we've got the windscreen absolutely clean, we've actually used the eraser one more time just to make sure it is super, super clean before we go in with the coating. So give the coating a quick shake just to make sure it's mixed properly and what you want to do is put some of that product onto the applicator itself. Now when it comes to putting the product on the applicator, a little and often is the name of the game. Don't oversaturate it because you've only got 15ml to start with but it will go a long way if used properly. But just add a little bit as I'm showing you here, just even coverage and just add it as you need it. Don't use too much in one go. Now I was just testing to see how it goes on and the coverage was quite good. So what you then want to do is go in straight lines in a crisscross fashion, left to right, up and down. And at this stage, you just want to get an even coverage on the windscreen as best as possible. What you're going to do is just spread the product out. And then once you've spread it out, you're going to come back in on the third and final stage going in small circles to make sure you've actually got even coverage across the whole windscreen. Remember what you want to do with Flyby Forte is try and massage it into the glass because what this will do is bond at a molecular level with the glass. It will actually go into the pores which you've now cleaned and it will actually bond with the glass. So you want to try and massage it in as best as possible. The ideal situation is that it goes literally clear and there's virtually nothing left to actually wipe off at the end. So you want to take your time and just massage it in as best as possible. Now, as this is the new 2020 kit, only one coat will be required because we've done the polishing of the glass. However, if you didn't polish the glass, that's fine. You can still use it. You can have two coats, just wait half an hour between each coat, doing exactly the same process. But you'll see us here that we're just putting one layer on.
So if you get a nice even coverage on the windscreen, you'll see that there's actually not much product left to remove or much hazing to remove either. And just make sure you've got some more product on the pad and apply it to your windscreen wipers because what that will do is actually help your windscreen wiper glide over the windscreen much better as well. Now at this stage, what you want to do is get the suede cloth that came in the kit and just very lightly go over the actual windscreen itself, making sure that there's no excess product and there's no hazing. However, if you've put on a nice, thin, even coat, there shouldn't be much to remove. But just make sure it's nice and evenly spread out and just give it that final buff just to make sure that the coating is on there properly. And once you've gone over once, flip the cloth and just go to the clean side and just go over one more time. I'm not applying any pressure, just making sure that I just make sure anything on the surface is taken off. So no pressure at all, just even out the layer itself. Now at this stage, what you want to do is remove the masking tape and just make sure that there's no product bled through the actual masking tape itself onto the rubber trim or any plastic parts just to make sure you're not going to get any staining. So just take off the masking tape and just give it another final very light wipe. However, if you've used good quality detailing masking tape, there should be no bleeding of liquids through there anyway. But just to make sure, take it off and give it a good wipe. And that's it, the coating is now successfully installed. What you want to do now is make sure that the windscreen does not come into contact with water for four hours and do not use your windscreen wipers for 24 hours to let it harden. As you can also see, we didn't actually use much product at all, even though 15 mil doesn't sound like a lot. We easily got through the windscreen with one coating and plenty of product, even if we had to do two coatings. So you'll easily have enough to do the whole vehicle. So now the coating's installed, you need to maintain it like any coating you would have on your vehicle. And what we would recommend when it comes to cleaning your glass is that you use a glass cleaner which is kind to glass coatings. We would recommend something similar to Gion Glass, which is a really good cleaner but will be kind to the glass coating. Or something like CarPro Clarify, which again will not damage any windscreen coatings but is really good at removing dirt, oil, and any contamination you might have on your windscreen. So these are our recommendations for you. Now, here's a detailer's top tip. A lot of people, when they put windscreen coatings into their vehicle, complain about longevity. And as mentioned at the start of the video, one of the reasons we love Flyby Forte by CarPro as one of the go-to windscreen coatings for us is that it lasts a really good time as long as it's maintained properly with a good glass cleaner like Gion Glass or CarPro Clarify. However, one of the main reasons that coatings don't last is the windscreen wiper fluid within your vehicle. So what we mean by that is that the windscreen wiper fluids inside your vehicle can be quite aggressive and they're not necessarily kind to windshield coatings. So what we would recommend is that you actually put some Angel Wax Clarity inside your windscreen wiper fluid reservoir. Because not only does this clean really well, and you can dilute this to various dilutions for spring, autumn, or winter, 
However, this will not affect coatings either. And in fact, what it does with usage is it actually tops up the coating on your windscreen to make it last even longer. So this is a top tip for you. Make sure you check your windscreen reservoir and I would recommend changing it for something like Angel Wax Clarity, which is windscreen coating safe and will actually boost the performance of your windscreen coating because otherwise some windscreen wiper fluids can be quite aggressive and it will reduce the lifespan of that windscreen coating. Another top tip when using anything on your windscreen is to not use a microfiber towel. Ideally, what you want to do is get some sort of waffle towel, something like this micro teed buffing towel from Auto Finesse. Because it has a waffle structure, you actually get much better cleaning on glass compared to a microfiber towel, which can cause some streaking, even though Geon Glass and CarPro Clarify are super good at being streak free sometimes they can streak slightly however using a waffle towel actually negates that and it actually cleans a lot better on your windscreen as well so there's another detailer's top tip for you so we hope you found this video useful if you did make sure you give us a thumbs up make sure you subscribe it really does help us and it'll also help us in future videos producing product analysis and product demonstrations for you so please do make sure you subscribe Make sure you press the bell icon to get alerts for future videos. Make sure you check us out on Instagram. And if you like what you saw, make sure you spread our message to others. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.